As a part of the Refuge Improvement Act, Chincoteague National Wildlife Refuge has to complete a comprehensive conservation plan, also known as the CCP. It's a long range planning document and in that plan, we are supposed to look down the road at what management opportunities and issues we'll face for the next 15 years. That's what we're doing here today. We have wildlife issues that we'll face. We have rising sea level and climate change issues that we'll face. And although we don't know all the answers to those issues, we have to address them. And we have to talk about them with the American public. As a part of the CCP process, Chincoteague National Wildlife Refuge has developed four draft alternatives before completing their final document. And we've developed four based upon the feedback that we've received uh, from our previous public meetings. So we have a no action alternative, status quo, just keep doing what we're doing based upon the last plan that we put together in 1992. We have uh, plan B, which many perceive to be good for people, good for wildlife. There's uh, Plan C, which uh, puts a major emphasis on letting the natural process take its course upon the island. And then there's Plan D, where we would really focus on the mission, um, um, focusing a lot of our management on the threatened and endangered species, which we're beholding to protect. Public access on the refuge is the basis for the town of Chincoteague's economy. And some of the proposed alternatives have raised concern in the local community, including the size of the pony herd. The four draft alternatives look at pony management in different ways. Alternative A, nothing changes. Absolutely nothing changes. Still the same pony population, still the same management strategy. When we get to alternative B, that's when we start doing exciting things with the ponies. We actually not only want to maintain the current population the way it is, but we also want to work with the volunteer fire department to maybe use the ponies to help us in our management within the impoundments. That's really exciting. We've not tried that before. Like alternatives A and B, alternative C maintains the current pony population as long as the land base allows for safe pony management. Alternative D is the only alternative that proposes reducing the number of ponies on the refuge over the next 15 years. Because Chincoteague is a coastal community, the threat of sea level rise affects how the refuge will plan for beach access and parking. We want to reassure the American public that the Fish and Wildlife Service plans to have a recreational beach. We've never in any of our draft alternatives or any of the options that we've laid out have we ever said that we're going to remove the recreational beach from the American public or take it away? Instead, we support it and we'd like to see that use continue. The issue that we face is where will we park people? And that's the, that's the major contention right now. Over the last 50 years, the parking area on the beach has been diminishing due to natural erosion. Where this was a good plan for 50 years, it's now time to start making the plans for the next 50 years. Alternatives B and D propose moving the beach and parking north ahead of changing conditions while maintaining habitat for migratory birds and waterfowl. It was very important and it was easy to see through using GIS and our other mapping capabilities of locating that one mile segment of beach that the birds are basically not using and that turned out to be the areas between C dike and D dike. We haven't made any decision of which way we're going. We've just laid out alternatives, draft alternatives, and to get the public's reaction.